The Pulse Star's gentle impulses are ideally suited to treating difficult musculoskeletal conditions such as sciatica, carpal tunnel, plantar fasciitis, and herniated discs. The Pulse Star instrument is excellent at analyzing and adjusting the spine, but it can also be used beyond the spine. It's a very versatile instrument. It's as versatile as your hands, but has different attributes, different speeds, it's just consistent. So it's really very useful in terms of uh, soft tissue work we've found. The Polestar can also treat patients of any age or physical condition, and chiropractors often find the Polestar to be successful on cases where manual adjustment was ineffective in the past. I had a young, young mother come in with her baby. It was only six months old. Uh, the baby had, uh, would not sleep through the night, was crying, and was constipated. And she was wondering if I could do anything to help her out. I had read some, in, in my research on the instrument, I had read some uh, research reports on a, a, a trial program with infants with uh, colic. And I think it was published by Dr. Leach. And he had used the instrument to, and, and was able to re relieve the colic. Now the problem with little babies is you can't really get them to lay still to do an analysis. But again, based upon what I know about the nervous system, the spinal column, and the, and the manifestations, I use the instrument on the lowest setting, which is five pounds, very gentle, and I used it on analysis mode, so it was only giving a single impulse, and I applied it to the lower thoracic spine and to the upper th cervical spine and because of their involvement with these types of issues. And after three adjustments, the baby was sleeping through the night and no longer constipated. And that meant that the mother was able to sleep through the night and was very happy. It, it, it was really remarkable. It was a wonderful thing. So it was good for the mother, the baby, and I was impressed. I had this patient who is a big, very strong man in his early 70s, very active, and he had had polio as a child. And uh, he now had what was called post-polio syndrome, which basically is the involved leg, which in his case was the right leg, would go weak every once in a while for no apparent reason, it just would recur. And uh, he was one of the people who had agreed with his wife to be part of my trial program in the Pulse Star Instrument uh, evaluation. So I was working on him and his wife together. Um, his post-polio syndrome had flared up at that time and his right leg had become so weak that he had uh, fallen just getting out of his car, just couldn't get up. And then when he was going upstairs, he had to use his left leg only to get up the stairs, and he had that kind of pain. So I worked on him with the instrument, and like I say, he's a very big, very robust man. I was working on him and his wife, and I could kind of tell by his attitude that he was thinking, yeah, this thing might be okay for my wife or little tiny people, but for somebody like the guy my size needs a real adjustment. And so at the end of the trial period, I said, so uh, what do you think? And he's, well, I don't know. I'm not too sure how I feel about this. And said, my wife likes it, but I'm not too sure. I said, well, let me ask you a question. How do you feel? He said, well, my leg doesn't hurt anymore. I said, well, that's good. He says, and I'm not falling down. I said, that's good. He says, and I use both my legs getting up the stairs. I said, well, it sounds like you're doing a lot better. I said, let me ask you a question. Did you, what did you come in here for? To feel better or for a wrestling match? And he kind of laughed and he goes, uh, to feel better, I guess. And he's been a pole star patient ever since. I had another patient, a woman, an older woman, uh, very thin, uh, very tight, it was very hard working. She did condo cleaning in the islands. You know, I live in a resort area and there's a lot of that sort of thing going on. And I had been working on her for a long time and, and for kind of a recurrent complaint, uh, a bilateral sciatica, low back pain. And uh, over the years of working on her, I had a whole list of things that I couldn't do. Uh, I couldn't use the drop table on her. That hurt her too much. If I tried SOT blocks or the activator, they didn't seem to work at all. And so I was uh, uh, kind of forced to use the side posture on her. And when I did though, she would fight it every time. And it was just sort of a struggle. And, and uh, But I would end up doing it. 
and uh, that seemed to be working okay. Now she was my one of my original trial patients during that first two week period and I used the instrument on her but I used it with my old mindset of you know anything that looks too high I'm just going to try and pound into submission use more force and I was getting frustrated because the post scans were telling me that they look worse than the pre-scans. They were telling me I wasn't being effective, and so I kept calling the, uh, the Polestar people saying, what's wrong with this thing? Why, why isn't it working? Going, no, you should come to a seminar. And so I finally did. I, I went to a seminar in November of 2006. And my takeaway from the seminar was to be more precise in my scans, to use, adjust fewer areas with less force. So she came back to my office and she had already told me, I don't want you to use that instrument on me. I want, want to do the man, go back to the manual. I had done that. But she came back to the office after I'd been to the seminar and I said, I've learned a little bit more about how to use this. So let me, let's just give it a try. And I analyzed her, I adjusted her, did another analysis and it looked so good. I said, let's just leave it alone, see how you do. She came back the next week and said, I don't know what you did but that was amazing. I feel so much better. And she has persisted as a Polestar patient to this day. I have a woman in her 40s. She works in, in, in hotels and in administration. And uh, she had been a patient of mine for well over 10 years. And she typically came in about twice a month. She's one of those patients who uh, originally comes to a chiropractor for a musculoskeletal complaint, but then noticed that after she had been getting consistent care, a lot of her other problems had cleared up. Her allergies weren't as uh, uh, active and things like that. And so I worked on her a lot for over the 10 year period. And one of the things I used to always try to do would be to adjust her upper thoracics and I never got an audible release. And I tried everything. I tried different methods of adjustment, massage before, I tried mus uh, electrical stimulation before, anything to relax it, anything to distract her different approaches technically and nothing seemed to, to uh, uh, help those upper thoracics release. So she came in during my two week trial period with the instrument. I did an analysis, did an instrument uh, adjustment, and did a post analysis. And while she was laying there, I said, here, let me try this. And I went with my hands to the upper thoracics and gave an impulse and a thing just released with a very loud pop. And we both at the same time went, wow. And, and that convinced me that the instrument does something that the hands don't do. And that really kind of got my attention because I had been trying for 10 years to make that happen. And after the first application of the Polestar, it did happen. And so even with patients who insist on manual adjustment, which was a very small percentage of my patients these days, but those who do, I always use the instrument first because I find it makes those adjustments easier. Get more information at www.polestar.us or call to set up an online demonstration or in-practice trial.